Good day, and welcome to About IT. Today we will be covering the three points of interest with regards to the VAT changes that will be implemented in South Africa from the 1st of April 2018. Number one is the Sage Evolution Utility. Number two, the Sage Evolution Manual Process. And number three, the About IT Utility for Sage Evolution versions older than version 6.82. For the purpose of this video, we will be using Sage Evolution version 7.20.3.000. Please remember to make a backup of your database before processing the utility. Please ensure that no other users are logged onto Sage during this time. First start by opening up the Sage VAT utility. You can then choose the version of Evolution that you're currently using. Start by putting in your SQL login information. You can then choose the database that you're currently working on. We have already made a manual backup, that, therefore we can confirm that we have made a manual backup. But for the purposes of this video, we will be making a backup through the utility. I have chosen my SQL backup folder on my C drive. You can then click Next. Select which value you wish to update, whether you wish to update your inclusive value or update your exclusive value. Should you deal with rounding, select your rounding, whether you will round up or down. If you do round, please select the nearest value you wish to round to. Then select your filter date. For the purpose of this video, I have chosen the 1st of April, 2018. Using the utility options, you can update your general ledger cash book batches, as well as updating your general ledger journal batches. You also may want to update any unprocessed accounts receivable or accounts payable batches. Updating of your volume discount matrix may be required. Updating of your inventory prices. Updating of your annuity billing, as well as updating of your additional charges. We then move on to the source document options. By updating the source document options, we will be updating all our unprocessed or partially processed documents. Please note that this will exclude unprocessed or partially processed SINVs, GINVs or CINVs. You can also choose to update your quotes as well as updating your lay buyers should you wish to process in retail. I have not chosen to use a filter date due to the fact that I wish to update my entire history. We then move on to the job card options. Note that this may only apply should you use job cards. By clicking on the update of the job cards, it will automatically select updating of your budget amounts on the job cards. Note that this option will also update the budget amounts on selected job cards. You can also choose to update job card templates, update job card quote lines, as well as update your job card active lines. Once again, I have not chosen a filter date. I will now choose to save the configuration file. This will save my settings that I have already allocated in the above. Then click run. As you can see, it has successfully made a backup of my database. It successfully configured my save file and it has started the utility process. As you can see, it is telling me that it's completed everything that I've asked it to do and it is now completed. I then click finish. Now you must open up your Sage Evolution. The first step would be to go to your tax module and then to maintenance. You would then go to your tax types and you will notice that all your tax rates have been updated to 15%. Moving on from the tax types, we are going to move to the general ledger cash book batches where I have created a test cash book batch. As you can see, the utility has updated the tax amount 
to fit the 15%. Next, we will move to the accounts receivables batches, where inside my batch, you will see that it has also updated our tax amount to reach the 15%. Moving on to the accounts payable batches, we will see the same result. Inventory maintenance, you will see it is updating percent VAT. Moving on from inventory, we will go to order entry transactions, where we will be taking a look at our partially processed and unprocessed purchase orders. As you can see, when I open an unprocessed purchase order, my information has been updated to be 15% VAT. Also moving on to the partially processed, it also has been updated to be the 15% VAT. Closing purchase orders, we move on to sales orders. The same result will apply. Looking at our quotations, you will see that we have got a quote in the system that has now got 15% VAT. Also taking a look at our unprocessed order, we will also see a 15% VAT increase. We will also take a look at our partially processed documents. This also has an increase of 15% VAT on our partially processed documents. Note that all your templates in inventory, order entry, annuity billing, job costing, as well as any other template you have in the system will have been updated to be the 15%. That brings us to the end of our first point of interest, the Sage VAT utility. We will now move on to the second point of interest, how to manually change your VAT on Sage Evolution. In the next step, we will cover having to process your VAT change manually and without the Sage VAT utility. Firstly, ensure that no other users are logged on. Secondly, log on using the administrator user. Once you have logged in, go through to your tax module and then maintenance and then tax types. It is here that you can manually change your tax rates from 14 to 15%. To change them, highlight a tax rate, click edit and change to 15%. Once you have updated your tax types manually, note that you will need to go to each unprocessed document, batch, and template in the system to save and update the new 15% VAT into the data. Let's take a look at an example. My example has been placed in the order entry purchase orders. Let's take a look. I'll open the former unprocessed purchase order. Open my unprocessed purchase order. I will then close it and it will ask me if I would like to save it. I will say yes. It will then ask me if I wish to print my purchase order. I will then say yes. 
As you can see, my 15% VAT has been captured to my new order. Please remember to repeat this process for all your unprocessed documents, batches and templates in the system. That brings us to the end of our second point of interest. As a third point of interest, we would like to inform all viewers that About IT is in the process of compiling a utility that will cater for all Sage Evolution versions older than version 6.82. In the interim, we invite you to keep a close eye on any new information relating to the VAT changes on our website. Visit www.aboutitgroup.co.za and for any consulting queries, our friendly consultants are on standby to assist you.